I'm Fox 4's Anwar Ruziev here outside of the Southwest Florida Symphony Office. The musicians in the orchestra authorize a strike for the first time in the symphony's history. In a unanimous vote, the union orchestra members agreed that musicians can push forward with the strike. Tom Crotchmer, a musician, says that the reason comes back to money. That's the main concern we have, is that we're in a high growth area, one of the highest growth areas in the country, but yet our budget is shrinking constantly. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, employers have lost 7.4 million labor hours to strikes in 2023 so far, the largest loss in 23 years. The musicians of the symphony say the amount of concerts has been cut in half over the last 10 years, and some say this strike is a last resort. Proceeding to a strike if, if we have to go to that. We hope we don't. We really want to um, contribute. We really want to be a part of this community. We, we want to work more. The CEO of Southwest Florida Symphony said in a statement that they are both surprised and confused by the strike vote and that they are making themselves available on Friday and Tuesday for the purpose of bargaining and hopes to reach an agreement. The orchestra is a per-service orchestra, meaning that the musicians get paid for every rehearsal and performance. They say that in the past, they used to get three to four rehearsals, and now that number is one to two. So we're coming to work and we go away with losing money. It doesn't make any sense. In response, the musicians say they are looking for a fair and reasonable contract so that they can continue doing what they love. Reporting from Fort Myers, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.